We're trying to discuss the extraordinary capacity of the Tory party to self-destruct. <laughs> I mean, today they are arguing about a tweet that Tory party central office put out <laughs> of a BBC presenter giving the camera the finger and the caption, quite amusingly, I thought, was, this is the response you get from Labour when you ask them what they do about the migrant crisis. In colour, how dare you tweet this? This is outrageous, this is beneath us. Others say, no, 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 it's very funny. What on earth are you lot doing? Why are you fighting like rats in a sack? Why don't you fight the Labour Party instead of destroying yourself? Kevin, Alex, good afternoon. It does my head in, OK? <laughs> um, the best MPs I work with are those who are team players. I joined the Conservative Party as a member of Parliament to be part of a team. And I'm afraid some of my colleagues need to get over themselves. Do you think that the problem with the Rwanda policy is it was from a different era now, you know, the two prime ministers ago, and it was essentially to create a headline and put the cart before the horse without figuring out how it would actually work. And that because such a big thing's been made of it, Rishi Sunak is holding on to it for dear life when he probably knows in his heart of hearts it ain't ever going to take off. Well, look, there's lots in that, Alex, and I'll just give my view if I can. Uh, the first thing is that the Rwanda plan is not the be all and end all, OK? It is not the panacea, it's not the totality. It is part of a wider government strategy to disincentivise migrants from coming illegally to the UK. Crossings are down over the last 12 months. Albanian returns agreements, the list goes on. Uh, we've got a, a proven track record of success in reducing the number of boats coming across the channel. But what we need is a hard edge. What we need is something that's going to disincentivize completely migrants from coming. If they know that if they arrive illegally on our shores, they will be deported, it will stop overnight. As I just said, James, the problem with that is if you uh, look into the mathematics, the chance of a cross-channel migrant being sent to Rwanda if Rishi gets his scheme up and running is uh, half a percent, 0.5 percent. So it really does not offer much of a deterrent anyway. Uh, and uh, if you want to do something with a hard edge, surely uh, what the hell has Rishi got to lose now? Announce we're going to leave the European Convention on Human Rights and we're going to start sending migrants to Rwanda because we can. Again, I think it's difficult to answer. I mean, personally, this is about reverse engineering the effect that you want. In military parlance, this is about effects-based planning. So what do we need to do as a party? Right now, we need to stop the boats. So what Rishi and his team have done is worked backwards to work out what needs to be affected by way of a treaty and in law to stop the boats next year. I'm confident because I trust the Prime Minister. I'm confident, and he was very bullish and very bold and very clear at the 22, he was very clear with the press conference yesterday morning. I trust the Prime Minister and his extensive team of lawyers that this gives us the best chance. So, what do I think? I think ultimately we need to give it a chance. We need to give the Prime Minister a chance and we need to back the Prime Minister. End of. I mean, 18 of your colleagues seem to disagree with that. It seems like Paul Sir Graham Brady is going to be wheeled out of the stationary cabinet before long. What do you feel when you see, you know, what you wake up and you read those headlines and the gossip that the letters are going in again? Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, the Mirror reported 18 MPs. I don't believe it. My sense is next week that the vast majority of Tories will vote in support of the bill at second reading. Of course, we can look at it beyond that. We can amend it if we need to. We can do the deals behind closed doors then. But at second reading, this bill should fly through. And the reason is because with less than 12 months to an election now, this is do or die. Uh, this is about delivering our promise to the British people. This is about delivering the manifesto promise to stop the boats. This is about making sure that we revert to conservative policies. And as a low tax, low state conservative who wants to win the next election, getting behind the prime minister is absolutely the right way to do it.